Well, the Simplu has arrived, and here it is down here in a box. Um, I've, un I've opened it and I've got the uh, got the instructions out. They're, they're quite simple. Simple instruction tells you all about it. Um, I hadn't ordered a filter because I wasn't sure. I thought I was going to put a vent through the roof because it has a has an extraction fan on one side uh, and you can run run it out through a roof vent if you wanted to. But I, after looking at it and thinking about all the difficulties in running a, a vent out of the roof in the boat, because you have to drill a hole, get a mushroom vent, which are actually quite expensive, and then run a pipe in internally. And I'm, I'm just not ready to do that yet. So what I did is I ordered a, a carbon filter, which looks like this. So this, so the, so the vent comes out the side of the toilet, goes in here, down there, and and through this, and that um, just makes sure that the the vented air, which is a really low power fan, blows it into there, and it all gets filtered through that um, activated carbon filter. Um, these are thirty five pounds. Um, and they last a year so they say so when you can turn them it recommends that you turn you, mo you move this this top flange to the bottom every three to six months so you can turn it up the other way and it, it actually extends the life of it so that's that's really good but let's get on and have a look at the Simplu dry or composting toilet itself so here it is the uh this is i've not really i'm not really taking it out of the box yet so um you're getting to see it for the first time there's a bit of packaging on top and then we've got the um the urine separator which is that bit So all the urine goes down there and the solids go down there into into this collection bucket which has a sort of slide lid on it. That comes off and you can fit a plastic bag in there. It's got a bit of a uh, bit of hose already for the uh, to go on the side and that will allow me to extend the filter away and then then we have the uh, the urine container that sits in the front of the toilet there so that that's the, the lid goes back on there that clips on nicely I hold the bag in place uh, quite firmly that's that um, urine bottle's got a, a nice lid on it so good for good for transport uh, when you're going to empty it that, that comes off of there that fits nicely down the front there and then we've got the Separator goes under there. So the urine separator goes under under here, like so. And we've got a standard uh, seat and lid. Let's just take those off. This is a the soft close soft close lid has the, the usual sort of connectors these two uh, they're slightly adjustable so 
so you could fit a different seat on if you wanted to and then that fits on like so and there we are so that's that's the the toilet as it is so this is uh, this is it from the front view uh, where you've got this uh, this nice soft closed lid goes down very gently indeed I suppose that'll uh, that'll ease up as it goes on so quite nice and neat the way it fits on there uh, it looks I, I really like the way that the um, the seat looks like a standard standard toilet and even even when you've got that seat up it's nice and easy to um, you can remove it with these clips uh, you can just press those in and then it lifts off uh, so you can really get get in there and get it cleaned up this uh, urine separator just moves around there just so you can get it nicely seated in place there's a little groove there that gets it uh, gets it fixed in place this is the uh, the the flap there's your solid container and the um, the urine this is a splash guard the urine uh, goes down that hole and into that bottle so that's uh, that's quite nice and easy nice little splash guard and I can tell you that it is reasonably comfortable to sit on so this is the old porta potty toilet and you'll you might notice just down here is a sort of a a lino covered um, scrappy bit of uh, box plywood that the porta potty sits up on to give it enough height so that it's more comfortable to sit on um, in normal use so I'm just going to move that out of the way and show you the new toilet in place so here we are with the new toilet in place it's the Simplu composting or dry toilet and it is it does look um, really really nice compared to the old one there's the uh, filter on the side here which doesn't look too out of place what I what I think I'm going to do at some point is extend this pipe and put the filter maybe in that cupboard so I'll run it through the through the door in some way and uh, then that will be out of the way and there's a little switch here to turn the fan on and off that's not yet wired in properly it's got a couple of crocodile clips clips there is a power supply that's hanging off of that switch which is for the um the shower pump but i think i'm hoping that you'll agree that this looks really really nice in place it is uh it does look much cleaner much nicer more modern and uh, much like a, a toilet ought to look. The unboxing and construction, what there was, of the Simplu composting toilet. I think it's a great swap over from the porta potty, which looked like a bit of a an old thing from the 1960s, didn't it? Very, that sort of mushroomy, browny color. Um, never looked very clean, even though you know, Wendy, Wendy, every time we emptied it, Wendy went over it with a sort of disinfectant and all that sort of stuff. So um, it was always very clean, but it, it just never looked very nice. And I like the bright white shininess of the new uh, Simplu toilet. Uh, I think we're going to get on really well with it. Um, we've already sort of decided that, you know, in, in a couple of days after we've got used to the the new toilet we'll definitely chuck the other one in the bin um we'll probably keep it out on the well deck just in case i don't know do you know how how you feel when you when you're gonna 
swap over something you're going to throw something away and you want to you just want to keep it for a day or two just to make sure that you're not doing the wrong thing by chucking it in the bin um because it, it i think it's quite old because it start all the seals are starting to leak just a little bit um so when you carry it down to the emptying point it sort of just seeps out a little bit um doesn't doesn't go anywhere but it just sort of sits in the in the little recess bit nasty that but um i i i think we've done a, a really good thing by swapping over um to the uh to the the new composting toilet um i know there have been some comments about um dumping human waste in bins and so on and so on and there have been some really supportive comments and a bit of advice and so on so really thanks so much to you all for that what i have seen is that there have been uh, a massive amount of complaints to the um, canal and river trust about their change in policy about dumping human waste uh along the bins in the bins along the canal uh, canals and and so on um, and my understanding is that they're now reviewing their policy and they've got a, um, a compost policy coming up uh, my that's my understanding anyway I'm you know, I'm not completely sure and I'm not privy to their um, meetings or what's going on but I think I think it'll be uh, there's so many people on the canals and in narrowboats uh, that are either have had um, composting toilets for a long time and there's more and more people switching over to them now especially with with the boating community um, we all seem to want to be a little bit greener if you like or more eco-friendly and I and I think using less chemicals is a very good idea and using more um, eco-friendly ways of getting rid of your waste uh, rather than rather than using those the quite toxic chemicals uh, for the Elson uh, sort of point type chemicals um, the Elsan blue I think you still uses formaldehyde which is uh, not a nice chemical at all um, so you know i think things are going to things are going to work out just fine um and indeed there's a there's a, a community notice board here in the village we live um where they're um somebody trying to put together a, a sort of a, a thing with local farmers to ask them to sort of um recycle what's called humanure or human waste um, and turn that into compost and manure for use in growing uh, things which is it can be done and indeed many people do it so there's a few more I think there's a few more sort of legal restrictions around it and a few more tests you need to do um, make sure it's safe to use but um, it's all very very doable so that gives me a lot of hope uh, for the future of composting toilets but yeah i'm really happy uh wendy's wendy's really happy with it as well so you know we're we're both be uh going with pleasure as they say <laughs> so um well i hope you've enjoyed watching this episode and the unboxing of the simplu um i think the filter that we've put on the side is that's the simplest and the easiest uh, option for dealing with any sort of uh, odour that there might be. Um, the fan does the extracting into the filter and so there's no odour at all and it dries out the, the sort of solid waste so dry poo um, apparently doesn't smell at all so uh, that's why you can use it as, as um, compost trying to think of the word again there so but so i'm very pleased i've just got a little bit of wiring to do um to add in to the positive and negative feed that's running down for the uh shower pump um shower drain pump 
uh, and then and then that will be all ready to go um, and that's really simple I just need to pop a couple of wires into the connection block that's already there uh, so so that'll be working uh, we'll be able to use that today so there we are anyway thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed this don't forget to click the like button and if you've got this far hopefully you'll have enjoyed the whole video and you'll want to subscribe for more of our narrowboat and camper van lifestyle more to come i hope in the in the motorhome later this year when we get out of this lockdown bye bye for now